So where do you guys think this went wrong? You guys are a good group of people. You've been excited about this challenge. You worked hard. I saw your pictures. I saw your Facebook. So where, where did this go wrong? But who didn't use Bridget? That's what I want to know. Can I? Okay, so like I understand that it was a rush, but afterwards I texted a couple of teammates and I was like, so what was up with that? And then like I didn't get a response back. So I did think we were going to lose points and I tried to ask what was, what was up. And you thought you were going to lose points? Yes, I yeah. thought it would hurt us in the end that you guys gave us the resource that we did not use. Did you go to Kyle at that point? I, who did, right who now, are you I talking morning, to? I don't, did she go to you, Kyle, and tell you that she felt Ooh, like she it. should, you I guys should go to Bridget? I, I don't believe so. I actually thought when we were meeting um, downstairs in the cafeteria that you got, when you said you were going upstairs to print out the flyer and figure out how to make copies, that's when you said we are going to consult Bridget. I, I, I thought that because we were talking about the questions then on what to ask Bridget when we were trying to figure out the questions. So. We wanted to gather questions together to ask, to use the 30 minutes wisely, but we just never did. I understand that, but it, it didn't work. So what didn't work? You can't blame, you know, you, you chose not to use Bridget. I, we're not even saying that Bridget would have been the answer for you. Her job wasn't to create. We're making it sound like Bridget would have won you the game. We have no clue. I mean, she messes everything up with the Y already. It's not scary. <laughs> so... It, what, what is the real reason why this team lost so badly? It's, it's one thing to lose on a couple, but you lost on everything. You didn't even get the points from me. So the biggest win you got was 125 points. You could have, you realize if you add up the score, had you taken that link and done what we asked, that might have been 250 to 500 points and you could have won this. Realize, Carpenter's Place chose the other team. While they loved what you did, and they're not disappointed in what you did, you chose the wrong mission statement. I thought your brochure was going to win. Why? Because her market's older. So for her, who got the choice, I believed she was going to hate the other team's flyer. I really did. While I loved it, okay, um, I was certain. But you had the wrong mission statement. And that's the first thing that caught her eye. With the brochure, the mission statement. Okay, so the brochure had to be redid because I did the brochure the first day we got it and I didn't have the criteria. So I understand it had to be redid, but I spoke, I really spoke out against changing the mission because I was like, you can't change your mission. It's who did you speak out to? The group. I spoke out. And when we were deciding on changing it, So who it, I decided didn't... that you could change it? I don't know, um, it was given to Cal to be edited and it came back that way. Well, and believe it or not, that's actually a simplified version of the original. When we saw the original, we looked at it and we had discussed it, that it said, it's too wordy, it's confusing, we don't really understand, it's not clear what's being said, and Kyle took it to make it a little bit more simplified. Unfortunately, I understand the first two sides because they came to the brochures. I used the information, but that's the original. It's trying to cram too much into a brochure. And when you think of marketing, would you have read it? No. Then why'd you write it? Because when I was thinking about the competition, it was like to get the word across the book, to inform the inform. And like when we were discussing- But informing, brochure, you wouldn't have read it, so how would you have been informed? If you look at a billboard, like they say in billboard marketing, watch billboards, they'll put two or three words on it because you're supposed to say, what did that say? You don't know, there's too many words. So imagine a billboard, you know, and when you're trying to market fast and get people's attention, you can't have something on there, they'll wreck, right, if they tried to read it. Does that make sense? Okay, okay. so just understand that I want you guys to learn when it comes to marketing, you have to look at how do you get someone to read it, okay? So that Y folder right here, if I flash this in front of you, what does it say? Mm -hmm. Do more, be more. I already know what it says, right? See, fast. Okay? But imagine if I flash that in front of you. Do you know what all those whys were? You have no clue. So marketing is about grabbing attention and people remembering a slogan. I think ours really like delved into the services, what they provide. Um, maybe not the correct mission statement, but the organization as a whole. When I look at the other flyer, I'm thinking they're advertising some sort of event because it's so basic. Like, come to this place, get this done at this time. 
Yeah, it's, it's an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Right. That's, I, that's not a brochure. I mean, but, I, at this point, but at this point, it doesn't matter. Right, right. What took your flyer out was the rewrite yeah. of the mission just, If I was going to create a flyer or a brochure based upon the directions that you gave us, I assume that you wanted a very in-depth explanation, not necessarily to get most people to read it, but to inform them the best. Right. How would you in the future inform people of the more in-depth part of the organization? What would you do to get them to read that information? I think it's really about catching their attention, agreed, but then it's about capturing them and explaining to them by word of mouth. Right, so you capture them, not the flyer. Mm -hmm. The flyer gets attention and directs them to a survey, mm -hmm. but you are the one that's educating them. So when he's posting on Facebook, He's saying, learn something great about an organization called Carpenter's Place. Posting the whole brochure on Facebook, no one's going to read that. So it's, you know, and at the end of the Did You Know series, there's a link. You know, and maybe a, a link to the website if you'd like to learn more. It's about whether or not it speaks to their heart. You're asking us if it speaks to ours. We get what it says. We understand how powerful some of those words are. But if nobody reads it, then it doesn't mean anything. It's time for the real question, guys. Who should go? Kyle, who do you think should go? You're the project manager. Don't say yourself, Kyle, or you're going to walk out of here now. I'll listen. Okay. In terms of dedication, um, the passion for what we were doing really showed in the team members uh, these past couple of days. So, I would have to say, Jonathan, even though you did contribute a lot, I don't really, I didn't really see a lot of, it didn't seem like you really wanted to do it, even though you, you did do a good job, but. Do you agree with that? Ashanti? Ashanti's making a face. What, what are you thinking? I disagree. Jonathan was there every time we needed him for whatever task. And at the beginning of this, we set up and divided the tasks that we wanted to do. And he actually wanted to help in on the commercial and he was taking off of the commercial and putting on the PowerPoint with Ashley. And he worked on the PowerPoint. He was there at every meeting, there at every when we did Shake the Can. He was there at the mall with us. He, Jonathan put his effort towards it. Why do you think Kyle's saying that you? I honestly don't know. I have the drive, I have the passion, I want to be here. Um, I mean, I was there basically through the whole week before, besides the hour I wasn't able to. Um, I helped with Michael whenever he needed it, Ben, I offered his... Uh, op Does anybody else feel like Jonathan is... Ashanti, you, you, you're, you defended Jonathan. Who do you think was the weakest person on the team? If you had to say, I know you all love each other, but... If I must, because right. we all work very, very well together. If I must, just because you're busy. Just because you're busy a lot. From 2 to 12, that's going to hurt us a lot later on in competition. And that's the only reason I would put her out because she worked really hard. But Who are you talking about? Who are you Ashley. talking about? Ashley. Okay. But that's... Ashley, how does that make you feel? It's, um, I don't have much reaction to it because I don't agree with that. Um, I agree that, yes, I um, do have a job. But that's also an excellent resource. So Shanti, I don't understand why you're saying her, but yet you're frustrated that Kyle changed the mission statement and that lost you the brochure. So what's what's the deal? Ben, you're a pretty stand-up guy. Would everybody agree with that? No? Yes? No? Yes? Okay, so it seems like you represent yourself well. You seem honest from what I've seen of you, so who? If I were to evaluate uh, based on the roles that each person was responsible for, um, I was certainly very impressed that Kyle volunteered to be team leader. Uh, that was very good, and I, I knew he would uh, be a good person for the job. But, I mean, I understand he had classes. He wasn't able to make a lot of our meetings and bigger things. And, I mean, he was very focused and driven, but I feel like he was almost so focused on just working as an individual that he failed to unite our team into a cohesive unit. So we were almost all just off kind of spinning, trying to figure out what to do, doing our own thing. Okay. Does everybody else agree that the group leader is the one responsible for the loss in this project? Uh, <clears throat> specifically on the, the changing of the 
bro brochure. That happened because of, of, of a scare when, 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 when we talked to Joey. He said, uh, really, you shouldn't use the, um, <coughs> the carpenter's place bro brochure at all. They, they, they recommend you don't even see it. By that time, we had already basically made a whole brochure based off of the carpenter's place brochure. So, so the well, that was of wise. It. Not you. Sh you guys should not have because you're trying to be creative and be come up with a new way because the carpenter place has already has already done this. Okay, we're out of time. So I need everyone to choose somebody. Kyle. You said Jonathan, is it still Jonathan? Okay, yeah. Ashley? Jonathan. Shanti? Kyle. Ben? Kyle. Just because of... This is my Kumbaya player. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me who it is. I don't think it is. <laughs> If I give you my honest answer, I don't think that there's one one person. Well, lie to me then. Okay, lying to you, it would be Ashley because of time, but she still contributed enough. That I got you. Okay. Jonathan. A hard saying, Ashley. Okay. So, Kyle, you're the project leader. Which two people would you like to stay? No. Who are the two Ooh. that you want to bring back to this boardroom so we can make a decision on who's going to leave? You and two others you and will two be other brought people. back in, and somebody will be. So who are the two other people? Everybody else Mike is going to go home free. Mike and Jonathan. Okay. So the rest of you can go. I'm a little shocked at your uh, the people you brought in. It's hard telling who who really is dedicated, who's trying to work. But then you have to take into consideration that we're still learning as we're going, and. I'm, I'm basing my opinion on Mike because, uh, and Mike and Jonathan because they've made some decisions and that I've agreed with this week working with them, and I, I trust their judgments to make Kyle, the decision. Kyle, the two people you were supposed to bring this room are the two people <laughs> that you think should be fired. Yeah, that was a misunderstanding. <laughs> well, that, that was, if I had to pick, then it would be Ashanti and Ashley. That sucks. Can you bring the two of them back in here? Just bring the whole team in and we're going to finish this up. You, I understand the mistake here, but you brought him in and you told me a second ago that he was your weakest player. And when he is defending himself, you don't step up and say, you know, he's right. Okay. Um, The brochure, it was not creative. Um, I think you guys know that. I think that's why you lost, um, in addition to, I think, the, the, the speaking. And I, I don't necessarily think it's the mission statement. I think they would have overlooked it had that been a real powerful brochure in look and, and so forth. And if I were you, I would have brought in Ashanti. And I would have maybe brought in Jonathan, since that's who you convinced me was your weakest link. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. But, um, and I'm sorry, Kyle, but you're fired. You needed to know those things, okay? And you needed to make sure that you directed this. Um, and I think had you done that, then you'd be sitting here still. Um, guys, you've got to get better at this piece. Emotion came out. You weren't standing up for each other. Cal brings in the, the two that he claims are the best, but five seconds prior to that, he was saying one of them was the worst. Okay, so you guys need to understand that, you know, when, when you're in here, and I know it's stressful and it's, it's disappointing, um, the, the good news for you is, is that you can help either team in the process now, so if you want to be a part of it and, be, and continue to be a player, as it always is, is you're open to be a supporter to the others and you don't necessarily have to give up and the Y is a great place that has 700 employees and I wouldn't have chosen you if I didn't think you were somebody that could work for us. Mm -hmm. We got lots of different part-time jobs if you have that interest and I hope that you'll consider talking to us about it. So with that said guys, we're done. Thank you.